Almost a week after 14-year-old Hannah Brown was struck by a vehicle, those close to Brown are still looking for answers. WFT's Valerie Lyons went to Micanopy where she spoke with two of Brown's former teachers and a close friend. Guys, I spoke with everyone in the community and they all have one thing in common. They want the driver to come forward. The community is coming together, whether it be through Facebook posts, GoFundMe pages, or visiting the site in person. Even if they didn't know her, they're all doing their part to remember Hannah's legacy. So she's always been like a little sister to me. Devin Funk remembers his friend Hannah Brown as someone full of life with a bright future ahead of her. She was like a really outgoing, like full of energy, always happy. And then if other people were sad or something, she'd always try like being there for you and making sure that, that like try making you feel better. But 14 year old Hannah lost that future on October 16th. That's when a hit and run driver hit her as she was walking down County Road 346 around 9 p.m. with two of her friends, Madison Bass and Michael Germont. Now the community is trying to heal. She was just a ray of sunshine. She was just a really great kid with the whole world in front of her, and I'm sure she was going to do really great things, so she'll really be missed. They hope the person responsible does the right thing. I think in the long run the person would feel a weight lifted if they came forward. Yeah. Now, a week later, Hannah's memorial rests in the spot where her life was taken. That and a single skid mark serving as reminders of the fateful night. And my heart goes out to them and we hope that they find peace and comfort and um, finding who did it soon. As for Devin, he says the loss of his friend will remain with him always. But he hopes Hannah is still doing what she always loved to do. I just, hope she, I just hope she's in a better place and that she's happy up there right now. Yeah, I know that, that she's probably out there farming, uh, helping goats, farming, doing something outside. The crash remains under investigation and anyone with information is asked to contact FHP at 386-754-6281.